What is going on guys, Reflex here. So earlier today, a new collection got announced from the Kingdom Hearts Twitter, which they called The Story So Far, which is going to include 1.5, 2.5, and 2.8 in this bundle, all for $39.99, which is actually pretty cheap. But I've seen some mixed reactions on this new collection. Some people are happy about it because they get to play all the games to get ready for Kingdom Hearts 3, but I've also seen a lot of people kind of mad about it for just numerous other reasons. But the first reason is that it says it's releasing on the PS4 and has no mention that it will be released released on any other console which in my opinion it should be a re like released at least on the Xbox and that is just because it's the other console that Kingdom Hearts 3 will be released on so it would just only make sense to do that in the future but hopefully before Kingdom Hearts 3 actually gets released but the second reason is that it's only for the US at the moment but the Kingdom Hearts Twitter actually tweeted out that if there's any plans of changing that that they'll let us know in which since they actually thought about tweeting that out means that they're actually having plans for it because they wouldn't just say that for no reason because I mean there was a lot of people complaining and Square Enix is the type of people well type of company to actually you know listen to the fans so I think they'll probably you know uh, release this worldwide which I hope they do because you know I think everyone should get the opportunity to get all the games for this cheap price because I mean I'm actually kind of jealous because I bought 1.5 and 2.5 digitally on the ps4 a couple weeks ago and it costed the exact same price and i mean i still gotta get the 2.8 prologue so i mean that's gonna be i think it's like still 60 bucks so i mean i don't really want to buy another edition of the same thing kind of because i mean that's kind of what i'm doing but it would be kind of cheaper if i bought this edition again but i don't know i'm in a weird standstill but still i'm jealous because they should have announced this like a few weeks ago and then i would have just not have bought the edition and then just waited for this because it's going to release on October 30th I believe which is actually pretty cool because that's only you only have to wait let's see it's October what is today right now October 5th so you only gotta wait like 25 more days because I know math but yeah 25 more days and then you can get your hands on this if you actually want it but the final reason I have seen of why people are mad about this is because they are saying it's a cash grab or just Square is milking you know Kingdom Hearts too much which I disagree personally because I mean there is that all-in-one bundle for Kingdom Hearts 3 which is cool but but I think that this bundle, the Story So Far bundle, is better for newcomers because it gives them an idea of whether or not they'll like the game. Like, you don't know if you'll like the game, so, you know, they'll have a chance to play it. And if they don't like it, then they're like, well, maybe I don't want to play Kingdom Hearts 3. But if you're a newcomer buying the all-in-one bundle, you're taking a gamble because you're shelling out 100 bucks for a series you might not even like after playing a couple games of it. So, I mean, it's really up to preference, honestly, but I don't think this new collection is a bad thing. I don't think it's a cash grab. I don't think it's anything like that. But let me know down in the comment section below what you think of this new collection. Do you think it's cool? Do you think, you know, it's kind of pointless? Because I know that there's a lot of people that are kind of kind of split upon what they think of this but I think it's a good idea I think it's cool for newcomers just so they can actually play it but as like you know for veterans I mean you could just buy it just to have it but I mean personally I think the all-in-one bundle is good enough if you just want to have all the games in one little thing but I'm personally just gonna get Kingdom Hearts 3 because I mean I already got all the games there's no reason to really get the rest of them because I don't even know if I get the 2.8 prologue just for the reason that I've seen 0.2 being played like I've seen it all I've played Dream Drop Distance before not on the PS4 but I mean there's really no point for me to get the 2.8 prologue but if I do feel inclined to I'll probably just get this story so far edition just to have it at a cheaper rate because I know if I get that then I'll be able to get it probably 20 bucks cheaper than how much it is on the PlayStation Store. So, I mean, it makes sense, kind of. But then I'm buying 2.5 and uh, 1.5, like, twice already. I think it would be the third time I bought this, those two games. Because I had it on PS3. Don't have the PS3. So I bought it on the PS4. And then a couple weeks later, they announced this. Well, today, they announced this. And it's like, do I really got to buy this again? But I don't know. But like I said, let me know down in the comment section below your thoughts on this. But if you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like, subscribe. And you guys know the drill. I will see you guys later.